Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The 107th commemoration ceremony of the victims of genocide of Armenia took place in Antip Juan Lepin. The overwhelming majority of Armenians have been exclusively in Artsakh for 3,000 years. Artak Beglarian's answer to Aliyev. Let's get acquainted with the site of Western Armenia, Haika Bert, the commander of the Defense Army and the head of the International Committee of Red Cross. Delegation in Artsakh discussed humanitarian issues. A group of Kurdish women have strongly repulsed Turkish troops in Iraq. An irreversible danger threatens the ecology of Malatya in Western Armenia. The presentation of Rafi Kortashan's book Hanus took place. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. On April 24, 2022, under the auspicious of the mayor of Antip, Juan Lepin, Mr. Jean Leonetti, a ceremony was held in the commemorate the victims of the genocide carried out in Western Armenia from 1894 to 1923 against the Armenian people. The ceremony was attended by Chairman of National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Kabramian, Deputy Minister of Defense of Western Armenia, Suren Shaumian, Official Flag Bearer of Western Armenia, Chairman of National Association of Veterans, and veterans of Armenia, Vresh Abrahamian. Artsakh Republic State Minister Artak Beglarian responded to some of Ilham Aliyev's statements in a Facebook post. Ilham Aliyev has committed another falsification of historical facts, this time about the demography of NKAO, Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Oblast. During the event in occupied Shushi, the president of Azerbaijan, among other false statements, stated that in Soviet times the Azerbaijani population in the NKAO was the majority, but in fact everything is exactly the opposite. In 1921, at the time of annexation of Karabakh, the Azerbaijani population was 4% and in the following decades, according to the USSR census, in 1926, 10.06%, in 1989, 21%, the rest of the population were Armenians and a very small percentage were foreigners. The steadily growing number of Azerbaijanis in the NKAO during the Soviet years is associated with the white genocide against the indigenous Armenian population. Let the Azerbaijan Surges remember once and for all that for 3,000 years there had been an exclusively Armenian overwhelming majority in Artsakh. Haikabert is located in the Armenian province of Asparakan of Western Armenia, south of the city of Van, in the valley of Khoshap River, which flows into Lake Van. According to historian Movses Kholinatsi, the fortress was founded by Haik Nahabet. According to another testimony, the founder of fortress is considered to be the king of Urartu, Sardari II. The Ministry of Defense of Republic of Artsakh, Kamo Vartanyan, received the delegation of the Artsakh Mission of the International Committee of the Red Cross headed by Nicholas Flory. This is reported by the Ministry of Defense of Artsakh. Humanitarian issues were discussed during the meeting. Kamo Vartanyan sacked Nicholas Flory for various humanitarian programs implemented in Artsakh, especially for solving programs caused post-war realities and expressed readiness to do all possible to support the activities of the mission. The press service of the Kurdish People's Self-Defense Forces reported that as a result of the enemy strikes, the Turkish armed forces lost from 30 to 37 servicemen. There are many injuries and missing people. Some Kurdish groups in the territory of Zapim Matina and Avashin continues to provide unsurpassed resistance to the Turkish armed forces and continue to deliver powerful blows to the enemy. We want to remind you that the Turkish armed forces conducted a new operation in northern regions of Iraq, where camps, warehouses and shelters of the the military political organization Kurdistan Workers' Party are located. According to the Environmental Impact Assessment of 496 mining operations carried out in Malatya province of Western Armenia, 924 new lawsuits have been filled, in which in particular it is noted that this work simply destroy endemic plants, nature and water of the region. If the authorities corresponding to the current situation do not intervene, then great destruction of the environment is expected in Malatya and its district. Although the largest oak forest is in Malatya, mines are still being resumed here. The government of Western Armenia closely monitors all events on its territory and strictly condemns those and similar actions, demanding protection on its rights of natural resources. 
The presentation of the book Honos took place in the publishing house Zangag. The author of the book is chairman of research on Armenian Architecture University, Ravi Kortoshan. This is the fifth volume of the History of Armenia, a series of books initiated by Samvel Karapetyan, who presented the Honos country of Western Armenia. The volume was created with the assistance of Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, the branch of research of Armenian Architecture, USA, and Tuhaik Foundation. It was published with the assistance of Harutun Simonian's relatives. Dear compatriot, patriotic sons of Western Armenia, the leadership of Western Armenia remaining true to its ideas and principles, continues to present various events related to the history, present and the future of our country to you in a new way, through television and online platforms, inform the political and public events of the government, and it also gives you the opportunity to communicate with each other closely. Through our television, you can establish direct communication with the government and members of the National Assembly. You can raise issues of concern to you that are directly related to Western Armenia and its citizens, and you can also make various interesting proposals. We want to remind you that our television is not engaged in self-promotion, but wants to further expand its capabilities and connections through you. Your support is a victory for all of us. Together we can do more. Now musical part Armenian folk song, Dance of Pahlevan. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.